Good morning fellow RVers, this is Jason from Rockland Technologies and today we're going to be going on location to answer your questions about directional antennas and how to use them with the Alpha Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 kit. Alright, we're here on location with our Flagstaff E-Pro RV and we're going to be talking a little bit today about the Alpha APAL 2410A directional antenna. Now some of you uh, have asked us, you know, what is a directional antenna? How do I use it? So this is the APAL 2410A here in my hand. I'm just going to set this down and we're going to go over how you want to mount that to your Alpha tube in the Camp Pro system. Now if you look here, this is the omnidirectional antenna that ships with your RV and we have shown you in another video that we want to get that up above the roof line. Now what it's doing here is it's picking up from a 360 degree horizontal pattern. So it's going all around the RV park. And that's great if you don't know where the signal's coming from. But if you do know where the signal's coming from, we can use a directional antenna to get better distance in that direction instead. So it's very e easy to use a directional antenna with the Alpha Camp Pro system. In fact, with this APAL 2410A, all you have to do is remove the omnidirectional antenna. And do keep in mind, whenever you're removing or attaching an antenna to the Alpha tube, you want to make sure you do not have power. So disconnect it from your Alpha R36A router or computer. Uh, make sure it's not getting power. And then we're going to put the directional antenna on there. Now the directional antenna obviously has two sides. It has the back side where the screws are and it has the front side. This is the side that we want to aim toward where the signal is coming from. Let's just say in this particular example, we know that our campground access points are coming from that way. We're going to go up and if your tube is already mounted up there, you can get on a ladder and just change the antennas up there. But we still want to have this potentially above the roof line. If we're going in that direction, it's okay if we have a little bit lower but we still kind of want to have it above the roof line if we can and aimed in that direction. Now, if you're not sure where the signal's coming from in your campground, that's okay. You can come up here and you can rotate the antenna at the base there without unscrewing it to different directions. So if your tube is like that, you can kind of turn it into different directions and you can go back inside the RV and hit the rescan button. We're going to demonstrate that on the screen for you right now. The Camp Pro site survey screen will not automatically rescan when you move the antenna and show you the new signal strength. It's going to be important that when you come up here and you change where the antenna is aimed, you go back inside the RV and hit the rescan button so you can see live on your screen whether the signal is getting stronger or whether it's getting weaker. If it's getting weaker, that just means you've moved the path away from where the signal is coming from. So keep trying until you can improve that signal. And just remember that it's not always going to be a logical line of sight. Most of the time it will be, but signals do bounce off obstacles, trees, other RVs. So use that directional antenna and rotate it until you get in a direction where you're getting good signal. Thank you so much for watching this Rockland on location presentation. Reach out to us with any questions you might have or visit us online at rockland.com.